open the gates! Let's game! Meet the game! Meet the game! What's the game? I'm a Kamen Rider! What's up everybody, it's the Quarter Guy, and welcome to the post-game of Mega Man Battle Network, part of the Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. Now that we've, uh, beaten World 3 and deleted their big nasty light virus, let's take care of the stuff that lies in the deepest reaches of the internet. What I like to call the Trial Areas. These hide the post-game bosses, as well as some of the rarest chips in the game, the ones that'll be necessary to complete my collection. Granted, the first Battle Network's post-game is weaker than the others, but that's to be expected because of the uh, whole first game syndrome thing. Anyways, let's pick up where we left off. So, I did some grinding and farming off-screen prior to this. Right now, I'm in Internet Area 9, at the entrance to Internet Area 10. So, let's proceed. And there are navvies that will tell you, uh, what you need to do to get to the next area. Being able to move on to areas from here depends on how well you fight. Best not to show your back to the enemy around here. In other words, in order to move forward, you cannot run from battles. Which is fine, because I don't have any escape tips, and Buster Max mode will not affect this. So, we are going to look around and power up our stuff. Like this net merchant here. From here, we can get Aqua Armor, a Power Up, and several HP memories. Let's get the last point to charge. And continue onward. And here we find a thousand zennies and a door. Checking your bravery level. Bravery level satisfactory. You may pass. But that leads to a different area than where we want to go. So, so instead we're going to make our way around through the net. Grab this mystery data. Wide Sword S. Two thousand zennies. And this do and this world three door here leads to an HP memory. Alright, so let's get this mystery data here. Cross gun F. Now, the door we're looking for right now is right here. Checking your bravery level. Satisfactory, you may pass. So this is going to lead to Internet Area 12. Let's make sure we can uh, save properly before we move on. Okay, so after a bit of grinding to get the last... Uh, HP memory in this area. This is what my stats look like now. Max attack, max charge, 820 HP. Level 79. So that should be enough for the first uh, post-game boss. Well, major post-game boss. So now we're in Internet Area 11. You can't get by this area just by deleting viruses. You gotta do it with style. So, cowards will never make it through here. So you have to have a certain busting level, or higher. In this case, it's gotta be over busting level three. All 
All right, here we find it. 2,400 zennies. Nice. All right, let's make our way around here. 1,800 zennies from the mystery data. All right, this way. Mystery data here is 2,400 zennies. Nice. And so this way, and we'll get another 2,400 zennies. Yeah, sounds like a reliable source of money. All right, so what are we gonna find? Nothing, okay, nothing there. And down here we'll find 10,000 zennies. Very nice indeed. Up here, the door unlocks. Busting technique, success satisfactory. And now the door is unlocked. Here is where we'll find Bomb Man V2. I'll just take care of him quickly. Save it the grind. All right. I'll do some a bit of farming in this area and see you in the next one. All right. There is no uh, trial in Internet Area 12, but there is our first post-game boss here. You can't go on from here. Play around as much as you like, though. There is actually a net merchant here. I can get a power-up and some HD memories here. I can only afford one of each right now, though. So... Now, to actually face the post-game boss here, I need to be at level 70 or higher. I'm at level 83, so that's no problem. So, let's gather up some mystery data. Cross Bomb L. Actually, uh... Let me go ahead and uh, add a couple of Gutsman chips here for uh, reasons. All right, mystery data here: a thousand zennies. Nothing there. All right. Up we'll go. No mystery data there. Let's see. Ah, we got mystery data here. It's X panel 1G. Let's see what's here. Another... Okay, the boss is uh, this way, but I will need to make some preparations first, so give me a second. Alright. It's time to deal with the first post-game boss here. And, uh, it's the lame... It's the, uh... Most unimpressive Navi in the game. Yep. Oh. Buster Max mode off. Yeah, it's Feral Man. So first thing I'm gonna do is add Fast Gauge.
All right. There's the first Pharaoh Trap. All right. Gonna use Guts Man 3. Do some damage that way. Oh yeah, there's the Gale Bodad lols. Alright. And boom! Didn't take a single hit! And I S-ranked him. So I automatically get the Feral Man P chip from that one. See how unimpressive that fight was? But I do get a Night Sword B for the deal. So that takes care of that branch. Gonna do some farming here. And then we'll take on the other branch. Okay, after some grinding to get more power-ups and fill out my library, I now stand at 158 chips out of 176. Now, to get more, we're going to go through the other half of the Undernet Trials. So, I am back here in Internet Area 10 to the gate which leads to Internet 13. Here, the results are more important than the battle. Gotta get as many as you can. And by as many as you can, he means battleships. I think you need to get a certain amount here. Okay, 2,000 zennies from this mystery data. Ship number one. This mystery data contains 8,000 zennies. Ship number two. Two thousand zennies from this mystery data. Ship number three. Ship number four. Sword L. Recover 150, A. Eh? Thousand zennies. Ooh, this is a rare virus. It takes one hit, it takes one damage per hit, if it gets away, it escapes. Five 
Five. Four. Three. Two. Ah! Darn it! Eight chips. Okay, this is a cheap way, but it works. Anubis. You get it from Feral Man as one of the two possible chips if you get it at level 10 or S. It continuously poisons the enemy field. It's cheap, but it works. I think that's eight or nine. Okay, I think this is nine. Should be ten. Let's see if that's enough. Well, did you collect enough? Looks like you have. You may pass. And that is how you clear this one. Let me reset my folder and I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay. Next area. Now, we gotta get through here as fast as possible. You won't be able to just stroll by this area. Avoiding viruses is the secret. So you gotta have a plan. You don't wanna use this area as a hunting ground. Ooh, that's one. Two. Three. All right, so I got this guy go up from here. Straight up. Four. Checking your dexterity level. Dexterity level satisfactory. You may pass. So now we can do some exploring here. And we get 5,000 zennies from this one. M cannon N. Because then he can go as high as 10,000. And 
this way is a World 3 door. Which gives us access to... A power-up! That leaves just one. And now, if we go all the way back... Up here is where we'll find Magic Man V2. So let's deal with him quickly. And let's head back to the door. All right. We're about to head into Internet Area 15. And hard to get through here, eh? You will always have to fight to the best of your ability. This is another place where you need to, uh, get a higher, high enough busting level with each battle in order to proceed. Here we get 3,000 zennies. And if we go this way... Yeah, you won't want to waste too much time in this area, because, uh... Because the fewer fights you get in, the fewer you can mess up. Alright, this mystery data gives us Raton 2J. Alright, down this way. And around to the mystery data over here. We'll find Red Wave J. And here's the net dealer here. Actually, let's open the door first. Recover 120C. Busting technique, satisfactory. You may pass. There, that's good. Now, I went for the gate before we got to this point, because this is the second post-game boss. Let's take him on. It's time to face Shadow Man. It's a good thing a lot of my chips are code C. So I'm going to start with Color Man 2. That should do some damage to start off. Ooh. Going to drop a Snake Egg 3 here. All right. And a snake egg, too, for good measure. Watch out for the shurikens. Yeah, each of his clones can fire attacks. Let's finish him off with base. And that will do it. And that is why I opened the door before. All right. 
That leaves one more area we can go to. Internet 16. So you've made it this far. It's a shame you're wasted on the outside world. A final trial awaits the true hero. If that's you, you'll soon find out what that is. Oh my. But now let's see if let's see what kind of mystery day we'll find here. Oh. Ooh, there's plenty of stuff here. Three thousand zennies from this data. Three. Three thousand zennies. Let's see what's here. Three thousand zennies. I see something down here, and this is 4,000 zennies. And up here we'll find... Twenty thousand zennies! That's a big haul. Let's not get that one just yet. All right, there's that one down there I still need to grab. Let's circle around and get it. All right. Back down we go. All right, it should be around here. Another 3,000 zennies. All right, so we're gonna go back to area... Oh, wait. Recover 200C. So we're gonna go back to... Uh, I said we're gonna go back to area 15 and back to the net merchant. So this will get us the last power-up in the game. And a couple HP memories while we're here. Let's raise our buster power to the max. And now it's back to the grind. For those last few chips. And after all that grinding, having gone through all the, uh... Places to. <clears throat> so, after having gone through so much chip grinding to get all those chips from all the navvies and all the viruses and uh, collect all the uh, upgrades, including one that I missed earlier in the waterworks, there's this one mystery data here that it contains Hero Sword Eye! And that brings my library up to. Oh. Is it time? Is it time? Hey everyone, QG here. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share the video around. Feel free to check out my Twitter and my Twitch streams, and consider supporting me through Patreon, and donating to my Extra Life campaign to support Children's Wisconsin. Thanks for watching.